It is my privilege and pleasure on behalf of the Benedictine community here at St. Vincent Arch Abbey to welcome our Abbey President, Abbey John Clausen of St. John's Abbey in Collegeville, Minnesota. St. John's Abbey uh, was the first daughter Abbey of St. Vincent, and now Abbey John is the Abbey President of the American Cassanese Congregation. And we're very proud to welcome him here to the election of our 12th Arch Abbey of St. Vincent Arch Abbey. Father Abbot John, welcome to St. Vincent. Thank you so much, Arch Abbot Douglas. Thank you. Thank you for your kind welcome. It's my pleasure, my honor, really, to announce the election of Father Martin de Poor's Martin as the 12th Arch Abbot of St. Vincent Arch Abbey. The community came to a generous, unified response in electing uh, Father Martin. So it's my, truly my pleasure to be here this, uh, these days with this community of St. Vincent Arch Abbey. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm, uh, I'm just very honored uh, to, uh, to have been elected the, uh, the 12th Arch Abbot of St. Vincent. There are uh, some uh, mighty big shoes to fill, but uh, with the grace of God and with the support of the community, uh, I just uh, I look forward to carrying St. Vincent uh, even further and, and stronger uh, into the future. I am uh, very grateful for the confidence and the trust that the, uh, the monks have expressed to me. And, uh, and I do look forward to, uh, uh, to um, earning their trust and, uh, and their confidence. So thank you very much. As the 11th Archbishop of St. Vincent and the outgoing Archbishop, uh, it is my uh, honor again to express my gratitude to Father Martin for accepting the challenge of being the 12th Archbishop of St. Vincent. Father uh, Martin, Archbishop Martin, brings with him many uh, outstanding credentials. Uh, he has an MBA, he has a law degree from the University of Pennsylvania, uh, has 25 years as a pastor, a very successful pastor, uh, has been president of St. Vincent College for five years, 1995 to the year 2000. And the distinct honor that he had is that on his Last year, at the last commencement, Fred Rogers was the uh, keynote speaker at the commencement address. Uh, Father Martin uh, takes on tremendous responsibilities. In addition to the college and seminary here at St. Vincent Arch Abbey, we also have 25 plus parishes in six dioceses scattered on the eastern uh, part of the United States. Uh, we have a high school in Savannah, Georgia. We have two foreign missions. We have the Penn State Catholic Campus Ministry at Penn State, uh, a wide variety of uh, responsibilities. And uh, as the Archabbot and Chancellor of St. Vincent College, Archabbot Martin now, takes on the responsibility of being the, not only the spiritual father for the monastic community, but also being the Chancellor of the College and working with the President of St. Vincent College, Father Paul Taylor, and also with the rector of the seminary, Father Edward Mazik. Uh, I'd like both of them now to just say a few words. Thank you, Archbishop Douglas, and thank you and welcome, Archbishop Martin. Um, all of the college community offers you great congratulations and welcome aboard as our chancellor. We look forward to your leadership, uh, Archbishop Martin. Uh, we know that in your years as president, uh, you were known as the student's president. You lived at the residence halls, students really loved you, and you had mass for them in the residence halls, your pastoral sense. Um, we know that you will also bring to your leadership now also as chancellor, and I look forward to working with you, as does our whole administration, faculty, and staff, and I know the students are looking forward to getting to meet you. So on behalf of the whole college community, Father Martin, welcome, and you are uh, pleased to be assured of our prayers this day and every day. Thank you. Archbishop Martin, I join my thanks and prayers to those expressed by Father Paul, Archbishop Douglas, Prior Earl, Abbot President John, in the name of the whole seminary community. You are an alumnus of St. Vincent Seminary, and I look forward to working for you on behalf of the whole church as the rector, with you as our chancellor. So you are in the prayers of the whole seminary community each day, 
and uh, ad molto salas. My name is Father Earl and the uh, prior at St. Vincent. The prior is like uh, the chief operating officer uh, under the Archbishop and uh, uh, serves that the prior serves at the the Latin term is ad nutum abati at the nod of the abbot. So with the new abbot, with the new Archbishop, Father Martin, uh, I need to know your style of body. <laughs> and uh, I'm certainly uh, happy to. Uh, to welcome you to the abbatial chair of the Abbey, and uh, as my boss, I uh, hope uh, for too long. <laughs> Thank you. Just one uh, final remark. Uh, I talked about uh, Abbot Mar Ar Arch Abbot Martin's uh, educational credentials that he brings to the job. I talked about his pastoral experience, uh, his sense of humor that he has, which is so characteristic of not only his life within the monastery, but also his service in the parishes and his years as president of St. Vincent College. But I think the biggest credential that he brings, and the best credential that he brings to the service of this community is his big heart. And uh, for that, we're deeply grateful. And uh, again, my thanks to Father Archabbot Martin for his willingness to undertake this task and to lead us into the future. Congratulations, Father Martin, and my thanks to uh,